Hello, I'm Alex. I'm a software engineer at CircleCI, and I'm going to walk you through the new Matrix Jobs feature. Matrix Jobs are a pretty powerful CI tool because they allow you to quickly set up builds that run with different combinations of operating systems and dependencies. To illustrate this, I've set up an example project that's running on JavaScript with Node.js. Our CI needs to run our tests over four different versions of Node. Now, this is a pretty common use case when we're talking about like open source developers who have projects they need to test compatibility with all the different versions of software that their consumers are using. At the moment, even without a matrix, we can accomplish that with the 2.1 configuration syntax. Uh, that gives us access to a few features, including parameterized jobs. So we have a testing job with a node version parameter. And to test, we're installing that version of node using the official node orb, and then we're running yarn test. In our workflow, we are invoking that job four times, uh, once per each version of node. If you take a look at our pipelines, we can indeed see that we're getting four jobs. So this is currently the best way to run the same job a lot of times with different variations on them. And this does work, but at a point it'll start to get a little bit verbose and unscalable if we add a lot more versions that we want to test or we want to add a new dimension of possible compatibility. So let's try using the new matrix feature. In order to use a matrix, the only thing we're going to need to change is in the workflow stanza. So we can replace the four test jobs here with one test matrix. And so we'll just put in the values that we already had for this field. So now we can get rid of these four jobs. And if we commit and push this, then we take a look back at our pipelines. So behind the scenes, this is essentially doing the same thing, but we have a little bit more concise config that it'll be easier to add and subtract versions of Node over time. But we can do even better. Now that we are in the matrix, if you will, we can start looking at expanding our test coverage. So let's say we now want to test our software on both Linux and Mac OS. To make this happen, we're just gonna need to add three new pieces of configuration. First, we're gonna make a new executor. So we can call this Mac, and that is in type Mac OS executor. Now I want to add a new parameter to the job that'll let it run on one of these operating systems. So we'll call this OS and it's type executor. And then we want to change this so that it's using that parameter as the executor of the job. Finally, we can turn our matrix from a one dimensional matrix into a two dimensional matrix by adding a new list of values that's called OS. So let's commit and push this. Now looking back at our pipelines, we are indeed getting the full Cartesian product of jobs on both Linux and Mac, as well as all those versions of Node. I'll also point out that uh, our matrix is automatically generating human readable names for each individual job, so we can see at a glance which job is responsible for testing what set of platforms. So this whole concept is particularly powerful because it works with any job parameters. We don't restrict you to a finite number of ways to do cross-platform testing, like node version and operating system version. It can be literally anything representable as a job parameter. Also, I've only touched on the basic matrix syntax, but I encourage you to check out the configuration reference docs where there are more advanced features like excluding certain specific combinations and using templated dependencies to create more complex workflows. So with that, we are excited to see what you build, and thank you for watching.